Hi guys, so it's Monday and it's a stack of pancakes. I'm Michaela. So I didn't really do a lot this weekend. Um, let's see. Oh, I went to see Super 8 yesterday and I would have to say that I really liked that movie. Like, I even thought that it was better than the X-Men First Class movie. Um, it was really, really good and I really enjoyed it. So if you haven't seen it or you don't know what it's about, it's kind of like the modern day E.T. I think is how they're describing it, but um, it's kind of, I would cross it between E.T. and The Goonies if you've ever seen that movie. It's really, really good. Um, so that was fun. Oh, I finished the first book in the series, The Hunger Games. And I'm currently about halfway through the second one. I finished the first one on Saturday. And I'm about halfway through the second one. Um, I have to say that, that the first book was absolutely amazing. And I had heard people talking about how it was kind of like a Twilight thing. And now, at, by the end of the first book, I've kind of seen how it, it's going to turn into that. But the first book was so interesting and so well written. It was just absolutely wonderful. So if you haven't read that you need to read that. Oh, I have an update on my knee. So, oh, side note here for just a second. The human healthcare system is completely busted. Like, um, we, somebody needs to work on that. And it may not be healthcare reform or whatever, but somebody needs to work on that because I was scheduled for an MRI last Monday, I think I told you guys. Um, and the doctor that I had seen was just ignoring my phone calls. No one was calling me back. I finally called my insurance company. Come to find out, no one had started the prior authorization for the MRI, for my insurance. So, basically I was back to square one completely because incompetent people in the healthcare system who really don't care. And I didn't like that doctor. He treated me as if I was some kid that's coming in there trying to get pain medication for something that doesn't hurt. And I just want you guys to know, one, I'm allergic to all of those painkillers. And two, they gave me pain medicine and I stopped taking it because it makes my head feel funny. Okay? I don't, I don't need a drink. So, I just, it, it was a horrible thing. So, I went to see a new doctor today because, you know, the other one was shit. Excuse me, sorry. Um, but the new doctor today was really knowledgeable and he answered all my questions and he finally told me what he's about positive is wrong with my knee. I have a plica condition, which basically, this is the analogy he gave me. Um, it's the appendix of the knee. So you don't really have to have it, but everyone does have it. Um, and sometimes it can cause people trouble. So this plica that I have, which is extra tissue in the knee, apparently gets inflamed and it's hard to keep under control once it started flaring up, which is what's going on. So I've been sentenced to four weeks of physical therapy. Um, I'm sure you'll hear my agonizing stories about such. So we'll see how this goes. So there's that update. Um, oh, um, so I feel really bad and I, I got called out on it today because I, we went to a mutual friend's house who has a two-year-old son who happens to be Chaz's godson, and it was, he was getting a pool and he wanted us to come over and play with him in the pool. So, as we're changing him into his pool clothes, you know, he's running around the house screaming because he doesn't want sunscreen on. So, we kind of double teamed him and I, you know, grab him by the hips as he's running by and I catch him and I hold him while his mom, Crystal, is putting on the sunscreen and he says let go and I said no and he said why and I said we have to protect our skin from the sun I'm sunburnt totally sunburnt awful I know totally sunburnt um so I feel bad about that oh and I also learned I was cleaning on Saturday and I have a lot of glass in my living room I have I think there's a living room tour on my personal channel. But anyway, I have a lot of glass tops, tables, and TV stands in my living room. So my primary, after I dust, obviously, I always Windex the entire thing. And the Windex wipes have been like my best friend in the entire world. And I decided being money conscious as I am 
that I was going to, sorry, there's something moving outside. There's a squirrel on my back porch, a squirrel. Um, anyway, I decided that I was going to try to save money and I could save, I think it was like 60 cents if I bought the store brand of the Windex wipes. And I was like, 60 cents, that's like a coupon, you know, whatever. So I get it. And I will never buy the store brand of Windex again. It just doesn't work as well. It's just not as good. Not as good. And I feel so bad about that, but it's really not as good. So that's the challenge. That's this week's challenge. Or question. Don't, don't think I'm stupid. I think it's cool. You know, everyone can get the store brand of a lot of things, but there are a few things that people can't tolerate the store brand of. Like, I, for one, can't tolerate the store brand of Windex wipes. And Chaz, my other half, he boxed macaroni and cheese. He has to have Kraft. He thinks everything else tastes funny. So, what? that's what I want to know. I want to know what things you cannot buy store brand in. You can't tolerate the store brand. You have to have the brand name. I guess toothpaste would be one for me. Like, I have to have a certain toothpaste. And honestly, I'm not really sure. I think it's Crest. These are good. So that's it. Tell me what things you can't sacrifice the brand name for. I want to know. Totally want to know. Oh, and YouTubians out there, post a video response about what you can't sacrifice as a name brand. What you can't do without. You have to have this certain one. I think this is going to be fun. Also, YouTubians, we need um, a temporary Wednesday and I think a full-time Thursday still. So get on that, YouTubians. Get on that. You know you want to be part of this, the stack of pancakes train. Choo-choo! I just realized how incredibly stupid I really am. Actually, I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm stupid at all. I think I'm fun. I am fun. Well, um, now that we've established all of that, I guess I can't wait to hear your guys' brand name versus store brand stuff, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!